hello everyone welcome back to my channel um this is my video for the hashtag be creative 2022 challenge it is hosted by terry jeanette who is the tapping flamingo aka bohemian gypsy here on youtube and um anyone that wants to participate um, can post their videos on the 13th of each month and there's no set time each month there is kind of like a code word to help in um, you know just like a theme and creating your project you can be any project that you want it can be crochet um, card making sewing jewelry anything that you want to make now for the month of May the theme or code word is flowers. And um, so for this month, I decided to open up my May bargain bead box because that, um, that kit is called May Flowers and it has some really beautiful floral pieces in it. And so I just made the one necklace so far. Um, now underneath this um, material here, I do have some earrings that I'm working on. I just don't have them finished to share in this video. But for this necklace, I went with this really gorgeous, kind of like filigree uh, floral connector. Um, I used it as a pendant, and I just made a little dangle at the bottom with these gorgeous, um, these beads here are called, they are the um, pink quartz dyed round beads. And I use some of these little tiny um, these are called cat's eye bicones, and then just some of these really light yellow, uh, they're actually, um, I'm not sure what they're exactly called, but they're just a really beautiful, like pale yellow uh, glass bead. And I love these connectors. There were two of these in the, in the box. Um, so I just used the one here. And I did use some of my um, soft flex copper beading wire or beading string. And I just um, I kind of made it sort of like the shape of a, like a Y necklace. Um, I did take the bead stringing wire and just looped it around there and added a little jump or a crimp bead. Put my uh, bead caps and then these really gorgeous pink beads from the kit and then crimped it again at the top, just to like stabilize that right there. And then I just took each string and separated it and just did the pattern up the side. Um, just repeated with the, uh, I just used some little spacers from my stash and added these little tiny green cat's eye uh, bicones and then these really beautiful pale yellow beads and then the bead caps. I love these floral, um, leafy looking bead caps that just fit these pink beads perfectly and then another green one here and then some spacers and then just repeated that and then these really cool um these are called wavy leaf spacer beads which are really nice i love the detail on those and then just finished up the end with another green bead and a spacer and then i just did a crimp at the top and then just let the rest of the beading string just show and then I used the um, one of the toggles from the kit, which is this really beautiful, um, almost looks like a, a rose there at the end. And you just, I just, you know, it just has that little loop through the stem of the flower and just did a simple little crimp at the top for each piece of this toggle clasp. And there's that detail on that, absolutely beautiful. And then that just fits right through like so. I can do it on the camera. And that's how it looks when it's fastened. And so this I made a little bit shorter than I had intended. Um, I thought I had cut plenty of the beading um, wire. But then by the time I got everything strung up, that's one of the reasons why I did such an itty bitty little... <laughs> crimp at the end because that's about all the wire I didn't cut any of this off um where I crimped it that was the actually the end of the string I did not cut any excess off 
so it's a little bit shorter than I had wanted it to be. Um, so it's more like a choker on me, but I think it looks really nice and I love how it sits on my neck. So it still turned out to be something that I will definitely wear and I cannot wait to be able to wear this sometime. I think I have a couple of shirts that this would look perfect with and that is my piece for the Mayflowers. Um, be creative challenge for this month and if you want to participate as well each month here is the list of the different code words so next month for June it is a travel theme and you just use the hashtag be creative 2022 challenge well that's the hat that's the um, hashtag you use in your video hashtag be creative 2022 and that way people can find you if you have done a video. And again, this is hosted by Terry Jeanette, who is Tapping Flamingo. I will have her channel linked down below. So if you were interested in going to check out her channel, um, the video that she did to announce this challenge um, was back in December of last year. So you can maybe find that video and um, you know, check out all the details if you're interested in participating yourself. And again, it can be any kind of craft that you want to do. Um, so thank you everyone for um, stopping by. Um, I know that Deb Houck, um, Dahlia Designs, Jewelry and More channel, she does this every month. And um, of course, Terry, uh, it's her challenge. And I'm, I think I've seen a few videos here and there of other people, but um, definitely if you're interested in jumping in anytime, just um, go ahead and join in. It's a really fun challenge and it's a great way to kind of get your creative juices flowing by having these different uh, little themes to create around. Um, thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you have had a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.